one night out turns deadly after a man is shot to death at a strip club in Theodore. Chad Petrie tells us what happened. It started at about 1.30 early Saturday morning here at the Cookies and Cream Gentlemen's Club on Theodore Dawes Road. Mobile police say they responded to a shooting at the club. When they got there, they say they found the victim, 45-year-old Manchella Allen, shot several times. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Mobile police describe it as an active homicide investigation. Video posted online shows several police units responding before dawn. I went to the club early this morning, but no one wanted to talk. We still don't know what may have led to the shooting. In Theodore, Chad P3, WKRG, News 5. So far, no arrests have been made. Mobile police did not indicate who set in a $100,000 bill for a Biloxi woman charged in connection to a deadly nightclub shooting in Theodore. Prosecutors allege Brianna Cunningham gave a gun to her boyfriend, Robert Abrams, who then used it to shoot Manchella Allen at the Cookies and Cream Club on February 27th. The prosecutors say surveillance video shows Cunningham and Abrams leaving the building together after that shooting. Cunningham's lawyer says his client was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The two are set to be back in court for an arraignment on Wednesday. It was revealed in court today about a shooting that happened at a strip club in Theodore back in February. A homicide detective testified a man was shot and killed inside the club after he and another man he didn't know got into a fight. Megan Mackey has new details on what police say happened. It was emotional inside the courtroom today as testimony revealed the victim in this case was shot six times inside the strip club. But the defense is confident evidence will prove otherwise. It's a crime police say was done at the hands of this couple, Brianna Cunningham and Robert Abrams. After testimony revealed, Abrams got into an argument with another man who was trying to use the restroom. The victim, 45-year-old Manchella Allen, was at the Cookies and Cream Strip Club in Theodore with his wife when police say he was shot six times. The detective says Abrams was the one who shot him, but alleged Cunningham was the one who brought the gun inside and say she drove off with Abrams after he fired off those rounds into Allen's chest and head. According to statements, Abrams shot him after Allen tried to walk into the bathroom on his girlfriend. The defense attorneys for the couple say the case against their clients isn't strong. I don't think the charges will be dropped, but uh, again, I think the evidence against Ms. Cunningham is weak. Uh, there's testimony about a video, but you know, they always have video and it it doesn't always turn out to be what they say it is. You know, heard the detective testify that Allen's own relative had to hold him back and then that relative had to be restrained. So uh, Mr. Abrams defended himself. The judge bound the cases over to the grand jury. Family members for both the victims and the suspects were in court today, but they declined to speak with us. Abrams remains behind bars at Mobile Metro Jail while Cunningham is out on bond. on a big arrest in Jackson County. Asion Hopkins is now back in custody after he escaped while in the hospital last week. Our Chancellor Wynn has been following the latest developments on this case and he joins us now with more. Chancellor? Well, earlier this morning near Neshoba County is where 20-year-old Asion Hopkins was taken into custody. This following his four-day escape starting on early Friday morning when he escaped from here at the Sea River Hospital in Pascagoula. And as of yesterday on Monday, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office actually making two additional arrests for two women who were accomplices in his escape. Those two women now have been are in custody in Jackson County. This is Brianna Cunningham who is being charged with aiding escape as well as Kiesler Holloway who's being charged with conspiracy to commit a crime. Now the Jackson County Sheriff's Office Sheriff Mike Izell says that Holloway was actually an employee at Senior River Hospital at the time of the escape on Friday, but says that Cunningham gave information or gave information to Cunningham to help in the escape of Hopkins. Now, the Hopkins was under 24-hour surveillance and security by a Jackson County Sheriff's deputy. He told the deputy he had to use the restroom, and that's at some point is when he got and was able to escape from the hospital. He was able to break into a car to steal civilian clothes before making his way to Meridian, where he actually turned himself into a family member. Now, it's not clear exactly how he was able to escape, but the Jackson County Sheriff's Office is still conducting an internal investigation, and they do say that more arrests could be possible in connection 
connection to Hopkins' escape. Hopkins faces 13 other charges in Meridian and has not been charged for a shooting here at Moss Point, which actually landed him in the hospital on Friday. When he was there for about two weeks, nursing his injuries as he was preparing to get better before facing some of these charges. But again, he is now back in custody and behind bars in Meridian. Reporting live in Pascagoula, Chancellor Wynn, WLOX News Now. That's a shame, bro. He threw. Like I said, man. Just an update on this story, man. Let me know what y'all think. I did the original story. Um, and now you update. They actually got three people um involved, three girls involved with his escape his escape now. So, um, you know, it's just a waste of a waste of their life too. So, you know, let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe.